Here's the key to NBC's own television town, where every day around this time you'll find Kovacs on the Corner. With Ernie Kovacs, Edith Adams, and the Dave Apple Trio. You must be getting for nothing. Oh, I, I brought the wrong vocalist out with me. I'm afraid I was given the wrong, wrong vocalist. <laughs> Doesn't anything ever go wrong in your house? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's it perfect because we're on the air? When neighbors come in, don't you break stuff once in a while? Does everybody laugh at you because it broke? So the telephone pole fell down. What's funny about that? Every day they're falling down. I'll turn it this way. Throw, throw me out another book, eh? Oh. Uh, that's, that's, no, that's, she's a brunette. No, that's, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, the other one, the short one. All right. All right, that's, no, her eyes are blue. The, other, the, the one we use has hazel eyes. Send out oh. hazel eyes, will you? Haze. Oh, jeez, wait it. Ruffian. This is the right vocalist. Is this don't, the right vocalist? You're going through a I don't like a big cast. Don't throw any more out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look out for the manhole. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, this, is, this is Edie Adams. Uh, lives down the street, mm -hmm. and uh, she sings things on the... What? It's a bear here today, isn't it? What is That fresh kid that lives up the street. Sometimes it, he's all right, but I'll tell you something. If you're, going, if you're going to sing out in the street here, don't get down here because this kid is just one of the wisest things you've ever seen. He's got this high-powered Jaguar. And he goes, oh, really? Yeah, he lives up there. Oh, that's, that's He's nowhere's crazy. around now. No regard for people. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Show off. Oh, yeah, you too. <laughs> and your little friend. <laughs> oh, what are you going to sing? It's wonderful. Well, I... Wait, I've got a big introduction stuff. Here. Big introduction? Oh, yeah. What's this? Raindrops? Huh? No. No? I'm going to accompany you. You're going to accompany me on this? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. No. <laughs> How does she go? Well, I start with a verse. It goes, don't mind telling you. Wait a minute now. In my... Well, no. No. no the... That's it, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Don't mind telling you. What else? In my humble fashion. How's that? That's fine, but it's not the right key. Or what key do you sing? D flat. D flat when? There it is. That's now, right. I think That's I've got it. Listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't mind telling you, in my humble fashion, that you thrill me through with a tender passion. When you said you care, imagine my emotion. I swore then and there. Permanent devotion. You made all other boys seem blind. Just you alone filled me with eyes. It's wonderful. Oh, it's marvelous that you should care for me. Oh, it's awful nice. It's paradise. It's where I long. Marvelous that you should care for me. My dear, it's four-leaf 
didn't know. Play. You uh, should have been a stein of beer or something on this thing. Dress it up. Why, pal movers? Huh? They don't come to you. We, uh, we usually find that it's about time around here to invite some of the neighbors in down the street. It's for a very particular reason. You see, everybody's got something around the house they want to get rid of. Some of you are married to that particular object, and others are <laughs> to buy it or have it wished upon you. But no matter what it is, uh, you like to get rid of it, and you can always bring it down here to the corner here, and we'll sort of push it off on somebody for you. Don't, don't bring the gentleman we referred to in the first place, because sometimes they eat a lot and people don't want them. But if you find something that you don't want, this is your chance to get rid of it. You bring it to me, and I'll give it to somebody else. There's only just one little catch. So you see, you've got to take whatever the other person wanted to get rid of. We call it sort of swap time, and a little junk like, here come a couple now. Huh? Right. Hey, you stay right here, right? You don't, don't you move here. You come over here. Try to get away from me. <laughs> now, this one is Jackie Phillips. Uh, Philippe. Philippine. Philippine? That's right. Oh, that's right here in Pennsylvania. Hometown boy. Very good. <laughs> uh, West Philadelphia. West, West, West Philippine. And, yeah. uh, You've got this little gift here for, it won't stick, there we are, Mrs. Betty Bowles, is that right? I'm Swarthmore? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take you first, uh, Jackie, because that's more comfortable to hold. <coughs> and uh, we'll take this particular object here that Jack Philippi, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. has brought. And uh, Edie, over there, now, uh, don't you look, uh, Miss Bowles, because uh, you see, Edie is going to show that to the audience at home and the audience here in the studio the people who hang around the streets, at least, you know? And this is the thing that you're going to receive, so we don't want you to see it, because this is, uh, okay? All right, you've shown it at home now? All right, fine. All right, now we'll go over here, and uh, Jack Philippi, wh where are you from, Jack? I mean, what do you do, you know, like uh, occupation stuff? Occupation? Yeah. I don't work. You don't work? <laughs> you don't work? How did you get the money to, oh, that's right, we don't charge you. <laughs> uh, what do you do? Uh, sit home and look at television. Sit home and look at television? Uh, how do you get along with the family? Like that? Oh, yeah, I like that. Do you find it uh, educating? Mm -hmm. Well, see, I got rheumatic fever. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, I can't go to school or anything. And, and you take, uh, take time at, at home, and uh, you can actually pick up a lot of this because uh, we, have, we have many programs uh, beamed in the mornings that go to the various schools that uh, also are beamed to the general audience at home, and you can take advantage of those, too, just like uh, you yeah. sit around to all schools. Well, school. see, a teacher comes to my house. A teacher comes to your house? Yeah, it's in uh, Does she watch the program? Well, she watches some programs. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I pressed you, I'd be a fool. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is what you have brought for uh, Mrs. Bowles here, and I think it's a real nice thing. Uh, did you wear this yourself? No, my, my great-grandfather did. Your great-grandfather? You have a relic here. Here, this is for uh, on the street, uh, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Bowles, when you're walking down the street and you see someone that looks particularly nice, you just flip up the lid. Hiya, baby, it says. You see that? And if you see a, a dignified gentleman approaching, and you just have gone like this, and you, you want to meet him, you just... Like that, eh? And uh, you'll make a lot of friends that way. Well, thank you. Now, here, we're going to give this to you. Uh, there you are. If you don't mind wearing that, do you? All right, now this... Really would you is. take this, Edie? Now, now, uh, uh, Mr. Philippi, we're going to ask you to turn around and talk this this way, right here, so that you can't see anything that's going on, you see? You don't mind uh, your back here to the audience. Put her eye, I can get a good grip on it. You know, I can't get away. Uh, this, this, uh, over here, so we can get uh, Miss, Mrs. Bowles in the picture. You don't like our hat. You didn't like oh, our gift. Know, Your daughter won't know. You have to wave her. All right, now we're unwrapping the, the present that Mrs. Bowles brought. Now, how long have you had this in your home, Mrs. Bowles? Oh, around three years. Around three years, mm -hmm. really? And you've taken good care of it, have you? Mm -hmm. where, where do you usually keep it? In the living room, perhaps? In the cellar. In the cellar? Mm -hmm. Do you have a sports in the cellar, do you? And it went the washer? And people go down and gather around and have a lot mm -hmm. of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be for you, Mr. Philippi. Here, you can come right back here oh. now. And uh, this, what, what, do you, what do you plan doing with this? Well, I couldn't tell you because I don't know what it is. Well, what do you think, you might do, you, do you have a, a living room? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you? I think I'll set up in the living room. Set up in the living room? On the coffee table, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway. Here, this is about oh, an eight and a half fine. pound piece of ice. What do you think of that? <laughs> that's one. I'll treasure that. All right, will you treasure that? Yeah, really? I'll treasure that. All right, well, you can take, take it out there someplace in the curbstone where some of the folks have got it and uh, hold on to it. And after the uh, little half hour here, we'll see that you get home safely. With it. I almost feel guilty about this. You know, I don't get good trios every day. 
Hey, we're only kidding the other day, aren't we? We don't mind sweeping up, really. It's exercise. Yeah, that's not bad. Get used either. to one of these things. Yeah. Hey, Joe, we mind bringing the base to in? Clear oh, off yeah, or clear out. Well, clear off or clear out. Well, it's just a much of a decision. Well, if it weren't for you, though, the studio would be all, all, all messed up down the in very yeah. television studios. When you get down here to the street, these cobblestones would be just, just messy as could be. You fall on the stuff. You have time to sing? Yeah, I think we have time. You might squeeze it. All right. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you Because, baby, you're driving me crazy First you say you do And then you don't And then you say you will And then you won't You're undecided now So what are you gonna do, 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 do Now you wanna play And then you snow And then you say you'll stay That's when you go You're undecided now So what are you gonna do, do, do I've been sitting on a fence And it doesn't make me sense Cause you keep me in suspense And you know it Then you promise to return When you don't I really burn Well, I guess I'll have to learn And show it And if you gotta hide And if you kind Then don't keep us apart Take up your mind You're on the side of now So what are you gonna do, do? Hey, first you say you do And then you don't And then you say you will And then you won't You're on the side of now So what are you gonna do? Shipped out to you, boy, here. Mm. Haven't seen Alfred for. Oh, here he is. Hi, Alfred. Oh, uh, hi, Ernie. How are you? How's everything? Ah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. How are you making out with Phoebe? You mean that French pool? Yeah. yeah. What a number. Nice, huh? Oh, yes, right. Hey, what color eyes has she got, Al? Tell you the truth, I don't know. She got hair growing over them. I can't see. Uh -huh. Well, listen, you've been having a little bit of trouble, haven't you, with uh, uh, Tom the cat? Always, continually, every day, 24 hours. Yeah, but look, she's got her side to the story. Why do you have to bury those bones in the driveway where you have to excavate the concrete? Can't you bury them out in the grass where it's softer? Well, I've got a unique personality. I like bones that way. I don't know. I, I, I think you're going to alienate everybody's affection in the neighborhood. You can't keep... Hi. You can't keep doing it up, Al. You just can't do it. Well, I'm going to try it. Oh, you can't see him. Hey, uh, what time have you got? A uh, short pause for station identification. <laughs> personalities, 2 o'clock this afternoon on Channel 3. Join Mary Wilson for an interesting interview with an outstanding guest. Oh, he's gone now. You see, he's gone now? Yeah, you see, yeah. Alfred is a dog. Uh -huh. But uh, only I can see him and kids. 
Ernie, I don't know. I think you're just writing and producing. It's no, too no, much no. For you, you're getting. <laughs> Look, I tell you. Uh, uh, you, you children happen to be peeking through windows and, and watching uh, this thing on the corner here. The next time Alfred, uh, the puppy that was just here today, shows up, or Tondalea, the cat that was on yesterday, shows up, you ask your parents if, you, uh, if they can see them. Mm. And, and you'll see they won't see them. You'll be able to see them, and I can see them, but the, the adults can't see them. You know, right. ye yesterday, uh, Tondalea had a, a, a lot of trouble. You see, the Tondalea, Tondalea. that's the cat. Oh, you see, yeah. Alfred, Alfred's been burying bones in the driveway. And he uses a pneumatic drill. In the, in the cat? That's right. That's yeah, right. He yeah. cuts out these big chunks uh -huh. of concrete. He piles them up on top, all over the porches. you got concrete all over the place, and the yeah. cat's mad. Mm -hmm. You can't sure. blame her. Oh, no, uh -huh. no. I think the cat's perfectly right. You know who I was just thinking of, Edie? What's that? Remember the guy that used to live down the street? Hobart, Hobart Lipschultz, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. He used to live right yeah. down the, over and across the Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he did all the uh, radio and TV commercials for a long time. Oh, yeah. He was a What a character man. he was. Mm -hmm. he, he worked with this um, blonde on the show, and they saw all these different things, and uh, he had his own particular... He was a unique guy. Mm -hmm. He could sell mm -hmm. anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. I remember. They used to stand, and she'd hold up the package. Yeah, and... yeah. Yeah, all right, well, um, let's just see if we can let's see if we can rejuvenate that. All right. Huh? I'll go in here. Hobart. That was yeah, just clear a space on the sidewalk, will you? The dog's been burying too many bones. In the sidewalk? I don't know, Ernie. <laughs> oh, here we come. Remember how I used to sell? Mm hmm Friends. Friends of television, hi. This is Hobart Lipschultz, your friendly announcer. We uh, don't want to intrude into your living room, the privacy of your home. We just want to talk a little bit about a product we've got today that, well, friends, <laughs> I think you'll find it pretty necessary. Friends, eat food. Eat food three times a day, friends. Eat food morning, noon, and night. Food's good for you. <laughs> yes, friends. Food builds you up. It gives you all of the vitamins you can get in vitamins. Friends, food is delicious. You can fry food. <laughs> you can boil food. And you can frickin' see it. Now, friends, you take a good piece of food and roast it. What's more delicious than roast food? Hmm? Nothing. Now, friends, I just want to tell you. You can get food at all your supermarkets. And if you can't get it at the supermarket, <laughs> go to your good independent grocer. He has food. <laughs> and now, miss? Uh, yes, friends. Except no substitute. Buy food. That's right. Friends. Food is good for you. That's right. And remember, friends, one final thing about food. Remember, when you're buying food, spell it backwards and it's doof. <laughs> He was quite a character, wasn't he? Quite a yeah. character, yeah. yeah. He, he really could sell food. He could sell food. He he could could sell food. Yeah. If yeah. anybody could sell food, he could sell it. Tell you what I'm going to do. What's, it, what's, <laughs> if you, what's if you plan? You should be singing something very it's, shortly. Uh, huh? Might as well be spring. Oh, what's that from? It's from the... Uh, Stay Fair. Stay Fair. Rogers and Hammerstein. Couldn't we think of a clerk? Wait a minute, this is too easy to go into. This Can't we do easy. some kind of an introduction here? Uh, what could we do? Now? That's from a movie. That's from a movie. Yeah. How about if I give you one of those, those real uh, old-time introductions to a tune? Ready? Okay. I'll make believe that we're not here on the street, that we're someplace else, and I'll say, here she is, Edie Adams, and she's saying, I think you better just, you know, you just, I yeah. I, don't know. I'm as restless as a willow in a windstorm. I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string. I'd say that I had spring fever. But it isn't even spring I'm as starry-eyed and vaguely discontented Like a nightingale without a song to sing oh, Why should I have spring fever When it isn't even spring I keep wishing I was somewhere else Walking down a Idiot, the baby on a swing. I haven't seen a 
Anybody leave a pair of seersucker bicycle clamps and the drugstore on the corner? Seersucker bicycle? Nobody no. here, no. Oh, thanks for calling. Mm -hmm. Darn, it's cold here, don't you? That was real nice. Seersucker bicycle thing. clamps. What are you going to do? You know, you know, oh, excuse me. <coughs> Hello? Sergeant Kachowski? Officer Boyle? You see Pete Boyle? Oh, you know, I saw him a little while ago down the street. Do you want me to go get him? Yeah, break up the okay. crap game, too. He... <laughs> Actually, he does the worst things on duty. Yeah, yeah hi, Sarge. No, no, the officer doesn't play. Oh, it's, it's for you. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, son. So nobody move. So many people like to wave home, but we do that little thing, you know, you who you can wave back. Then, uh, Gives it a right, real nice, homey touch, you I know. I think it has an aroma. Uh, or an odor. Let's see. Hello? Well, what does the yes, melancholy sir. Dane want? Oh, I'll find out. Yeah, Sarge. Yeah, he's right here. I'll tell him. No, he doesn't want to come to the phone. It's his lunch hour. What am I going to do, argue with him? You know how he is. I know you're going to have him transferred, but right now, let's just get... All right. Some kids are... Some kids are breaking windows where... The South Side Apartments? Oh, I think there's another. Hoodlums, that's what they are. Who? I don't know. I, these people disturbing us here, when, when you've got big business like kids breaking windows and these fellows holding up banks and things, interrupting your routine, it can't go. Can't I wanted go. to ask you one pertinent question, though. You know this Lucy here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think she can really sing opera like she claims to? Mm, I don't know, Pete. You can't believe everything. Here she comes now. I think she's using high-octane gas. <laughs> Good morning, Officer Boyle. Lucia Schultz, it's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to see you, Ernie. You're looking lovely, my dear. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Pete wanted to know if uh, you were really an opera singer. Do you ever really, you know, you always talk to him about operas, you're always singing. Did you ever sing anything? That, what operas were you in, Lucy? Well, I played the lead in um, Rigatoni. I think that's Rigoletta. Rigoletto, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, there's an Italian conductor, he threw you off. Mm. <laughs> Incidentally, it was an interesting uh -huh. thing in that opera. The conductor was uh, an FBI man. Full-blooded Italian, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, what else did you sing in, Luz? Well, I sang in, um, oh, what was that? The something about the provolone. Provolone. Yeah. Even this, I don't get away <laughs> You know. Pagliacci! Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, slightly. <laughs> Did you really? Well, that's good. Uh, that was important. <laughs> how about, how about Il Bacio? Do you have anything from that? Oh, Il Bacio, why, yes. That's wait, one of my wait. favorites. Edie, mm -hmm. yeah, come yeah. on down the street here, will you? Uh -huh. How about if we do a little bit of Il Bacio? Uh, you oh, can join in, Officer Boyle. Would you like to put I'd your... I'd love to cut in. in. All right. A quartet from uh, Il Bacio. Uh, well, with Officer Boyle, it'll be uh, Il Obaccio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it did. Uh, all right, man, that's he, did he? <laughs> Sulle, sulle labbra, sulle labbra, se potessi. I don't feel it. It's gonna go for this. It's not romantic. Lucy. 
Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. what color? Lucy. Lucy. Dear. I'll have two scrambled. Uh, Lucy, uh, I think you need what they call a good talk. <laughs> you brought a friend. I didn't know. Good girl. Look, Lucy. Uh, Edie, uh, yeah. you chat a little bit with the officer here, will you? Look. Come on over here. Yeah. Oh. You don't get the idea. When you're singing uh -huh. dramatic things, uh, you, you, you'll get Officer Boyle. But that that uh, cluck deal is not so good. You sound no. it more like a Plymouth Rock that couldn't quite get around to home, you know? Oh. All right, now look. Let's oh. take it down to a nice romantic tune. Something that uh, Officer Boyle will really go for. Do you have one? I, I have a beautiful romantic oh. tune. Something that means very much to Lucy, me. Lucy, you got it. Go on over and sing to Officer Boyle. Look out uh, for the manhole there. Yes. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, you so much, Danny. We've lost more people in the cast. Thank you. It's a shame. Kovacs on the Corner is written and produced by Ernie Kovacs. Directed by Joe Behar, and comes to you from the studios of WPTZ in Philadelphia.